Jazz, DJ Solstice, and we are back at NAM. That is right. Gig logs have been a little stagnant lately because it is a little bit of a slow season and also a few things I couldn't record, such as some uh, corporate events, other high profile things that they just didn't want any footage of. So sorry about that. But anyway, tell me how I look, tell me how I sound. We are recording with the new DJI Pocket 3, the creator combo with the mic 2. Let me know how that noise cancellation works if you could hear that buzz or if you can't, and just how clear my audio sounds, because everybody used to give me crap about it, but now solution solved, problem solved, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, it's early, and uh, a lot of traffic on the way here. So we are here about to go get our badge and check out some demos, all sorts of fun stuff in store today, so stay tuned. We're gonna do this over two days. I'm solo today, Devin's coming tomorrow. Good old Papa G, you already know, the long retired rapper that he wanted to be. But anyway, let's get on to it. Let's go. Time to get the badge and go check this out. <sighs> and we are waiting patiently to go in and check out the first demo, which will be RCF. So we're gonna check out RCF's demo room first. Doors are now open, it looks like. So let's hop on in and get into it. Let's go. It is time for NAM. Welcome to the RCF room. Can you get full demos on all these products? Got the 8008s down there. Got the NX44 wide, I think, up there. This is the 14. This is a 945. I hated that speaker. This is a 915. I wish they had the 932. They got all sorts of subs down here. The new single 18 line and that nice finish. So check all that out. Get ourselves a nice fun demo here and uh, see how everything sounds. I'm gonna switch recordings to my phone. So sounds uh, I'd like to play a, uh, a video uh, for this speaker. Let's get that going, and then I'll talk more about the rest of the system. The new ART 915A is one of many new speaker formats found in RCF's latest generation of the iconic series ART. Like all other models found in the ART 9 series, the ART 915A combines raw power and technological innovation to reliably deliver superior clarity at high sound pressure levels. We can achieve this level of performance by combining multiple mechanical and electrical advancements. The ART 915A is equipped with a single 15-inch low-frequency driver, designed to gain more stability over higher currents with less distortion and high-efficient heat dissipation. The new 1.75-inch high-frequency compression driver not only features a new bonding technology making it 10 times more durable than previous designs, but also increased sound clarity, enhancing transient response, and improving coupling with the new low frequency driver. Following the evolution of the drivers comes a newly designed amplifier to drive them. With 2100 watts of peak power, the two channel class D amplifier is 50% more powerful than previous models. Being physically connected with the internal frame, the amplifier remains firm within the cabinet for rugged mobile applications. To further enhance the enclosure's durability, the new Embrace design connects the four internal sides of the cabinet and amplifier for structural reinforcement and resistance to mechanical stress. The new True Resistive Waveguide mimics a resonance-free resistive load, reducing the high-frequency distortion found in a traditional horn. With its asymmetrical sound shaping, the coverage angle of the waveguide provides constant directivity to the entire listening area. To further enhance the quality of sound using DSP, all ART9 enclosures are equipped with FIR phase technology and RCS forward-thinking approach of base motion control. Base motion control is a newly advanced woofer excursion management feature designed by RCF, using custom algorithms to limit over-excursions and therefore remove the need of high-pass filtering on the low-frequency driver. Let's listen to the ART915A without the use of a subwoofer.
never seen a diamond in the flesh. I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies, and I'm not proud of my dress. In a torn up town, no postcode envy, but every song's like gold teeth breakers. There we go. Uh, I think that's a shockingly good sounding speaker at its, at its price point, uh, especially up in the upper frequency range. Super clear. Um, well, let's expand the lower frequency range by uh, incorporating its companion sub. Uh, and congratulations, you are some of the first few in the US to be hearing this sub at all. Uh, it's called the Sub 18AX. It's a self powered 18 inch uh, enclosure uh, with new and expanded DSP control. Uh, and I also have a presentation video expanding on all the details of that sub as well. And we'll take a listen to this sub along with the R915 that we just listened to. Introducing the new Sub 18 AX, RCF's latest self powered 18 inch subwoofer, now with advanced DSP and remote tablet control. A key new feature to this enclosure is its 2.4 inch colored touchscreen to adjust all subwoofer settings on the fly. A flexible crossover section offers several presets for an optimal match with other RCF full range enclosures and in addition, an eight band parametric EQ and a time alignment delay of up to 45 meters, all of which can be controlled from your smartphone or tablet over a Bluetooth connection. These new features are without compromise to the subwoofer's performance. Its 18 inch low frequency driver is driven by a class D 2200 watt peak amplifier, resulting in 135 max SPL perfect for mid-sized venues and portable applications. Let's listen to the Sub 18 AX, accompanied by the Art 915 A. I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you.
I'm excited about this next top full range enclosure. Uh, another new one called the NXL14A, another active two-way enclosure, wooden cabinet. There we go on the inside. Uh, you can tell I'm excited about this one because of its versatility. As you can see, uh, it's, its size uh, smaller than usual. Um, and also due to its rotatable waveguide, it can be used in multiple applications, not just in a, a standard left and right configuration that we're seeing now, but it could also be used in conjunction with larger systems as outfills, infills, front fills, under balcony fills, and so on. Um, but again, there's another video for this describing all the features, and uh, after that, we'll listen to some music along with its companions up. Flexibility, power, and elegance make the upcoming NXL 14A ideal for installed and portable applications where size and weight are critical factors. Its transducer configuration pairs two custom-loaded 6-inch neodymium drivers, surrounding a 1.75-inch high-frequency driver with a rotatable waveguide dispersion of 100 by 70 degrees of coverage. Whether it's used as a compact main system or an auxiliary fill enclosure to a larger system, the NXL14A is quick to deploy and fast to tune. With a frequency range of 70 to 20,000 hertz, a Class D amplifier of 2100 watts peak power, this small format enclosure can produce 128 decibels max SPL, ensuring no loss of quality due to the implementation of FIR phase filtering and base motion control. Let's listen to the NXL 14A without the use of a subwoofer.
sub to this NXL 14A, the Sub 905A MK3. The Sub 905 is a pre-existing model. Uh, we've just uh, updated the generation to the MK3, added new features, a lot of cosmetic upgrades, especially uh, to, the, uh, to the paint texture on the cabinet that's a lot more durable uh, with using a polyurea finish, um, as well as some DSP enhancements as well. So. Uh, without further ado, let's play the video for the sub. The sub 905A MK3 is a self-powered extended low frequency subwoofer with internal DSP. Its compact cabinet houses a state-of-the-art 15-inch transducer with a 3-inch voice coil, capable of producing down to 40 hertz with a max SPL of 133 decibels. This is by using a Class D amplifier generating 2200 watts of peak power. The newly designed all-wood cabinet is now treated with a Tor-ready, scratch-resistant polyurea coating for demanding applications, desirable for music professionals in need of a compact, workhorse subwoofer. The internal DSP allows the user multiple options to fine-tune the sub and act as a better complement to the rest of the sound system. These options include gain, crossover frequency, polarity reversal, delay, and cardioid presets, all with the help of the proprietary base motion control processing inherent in the DSP. Let's listen to the sub 905A MK3 in conjunction with the NXL 14A.
that was the NXL 14A paired with the sub 905A MK3. Let's step it up in format, moving over to the next system to the outside here. Uh, we have the NX 945A, uh, another active enclosure wooden cabinet. This uh, has a 15 inch low frequency driver and four inch high frequency driver. Also with a, presenta a presentation video to show you all about it. So let's cue that video please. The NX945A is the most powerful two-way enclosure in the latest generation of the NX series. The applications for this enclosure are wide-ranging. Small or large, deployed as a standalone speaker, stage monitor, for mobile events, permanent installations are just a few examples. Capable of emitting up to 135 SPL. The NX945A uses the combination of a single 15-inch neodymium low-frequency driver a four inch titanium high frequency driver, and a two channel 2100 watt peak amplifier. The large four inch high frequency driver allows an internal crossover point of 650 Hertz, which provides better impulse responses, fast decay, and high efficiency. The internal DSP takes advantage of RCF's proprietary base motion control, as well as FIR phase filtering for a coherent distribution of sound without phase distortion. Its rugged all wooden cabinet is equipped with handles and a pole mount cup for mobile applications. Plus, due to its rotatable waveguide, each model can also be flown in a vertical or horizontal orientation using the included M10 rigging points, quick lock pins, or optional mounting accessories. For heavy duty or harsh environment applications, the NX945A offers additional outdoor protection with its newly featured PowerCon True One input connectors for extended IP protection and UV resistance. Let's listen to the NX945A without the use of a subwoofer.
we brought a uh, another new sub enclosure to complement the NX 945A. Uh, directly below it is the sub 8003A MK3. It's another pre-existing sub model that we've had for a few years now, but now this is just of the latest generation. And like the sub 905 that we heard previously, a lot of cosmetic upgrades such as the paint uh, and DSP. Let's watch a quick video on the subwoofer and then here in conjunction with the NX 945. The sub 8003 AS MK3 is the latest generation of its kind. A self-powered extended low frequency 18 inch subwoofer with internal DSP. The internal amplifier manages up to 2200 watts of peak power, delivering sound pressure levels up to 135 dB. Proprietary base motion control processing provides extended linearity and remarkable sound integrity. Its dual input control panel on the amplifier includes presets, crossover frequencies, polarity reversal, cardioid presets, and output delay settings. We've also added a more rugged and scratch resistant polyurea coating built specifically for high demanding applications. Let's listen to the sub 8003 AS MK3 paired with the NX 945A. I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. NX-945A paired with the sub 8003 AMK3. Let's go on to the next system, uh, Flown. 
we have a column array called the NXW44A. Now, some of you might be familiar with uh, a previous model with a similar name called the NXL44A. Uh, the key difference between the NXL and the NXW that you're seeing here today is the waveguide dispersion. The NXL had a very narrow vertical dispersion. Um, we expanded on that, literally, with a wider waveguide of 100 by 50 degrees vertical. Uh, it's an excellent sounding box, in my opinion. I love this box. Uh, three tenths low frequency drivers and a three inch high frequency driver. Let's watch the video and listen to some music through this enclosure. On the ground in an end fire configuration are four 8008AS sub enclosures. So this is a one of our uh, newest dual 18 inch active sub enclosures, uh, 4400 watt peak power amplification, as you can see here. Uh, excellent reproduction, low frequency range, 30 to 120 hertz, uh, IP rated power country, one in and out, and multiple presets on the back of the enclosure for uh, high pass low pass filtering. Let's take a listen to this uh, to these subs paired with the NXW44As that I just heard. <laughs>
let you go, I just want to thank you all again for your time today. Um, there's a lot going on out there, and we appreciate you uh, taking this time to see us as well. Um, again, my name is Jim Reed. I'm here with Zach Anthony, front of house. Uh, we're going to be hanging out here, uh, taking any questions. Feel free to walk around. You can touch up behind the enclosures, walk around the room, listen to the systems. Uh, as they're played. As we're leaving, uh, we're going to play one more system for you, the tried and true HDL 6A, the light arrays, far left and right, in conjunction with the sub 8008AS. The 8006 has been around now for a few years, but it's always fun to play this one. It is, uh, I believe, the top selling composite line array enclosure in the world. Uh, you can find these everywhere. Uh, I forgot the total number. I think we're approaching roughly 14,000 units sold last year in the U.S. alone. Um, very popular, very well-perceived enclosure. So uh, thanks again for your time. Again, feel free to ask me or Zach any questions about the products you see today or any others. And uh, have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks. to Adam Hall to check out some LD systems and gravity stands and all sorts of stuff. Just more demos for you today. RCF was pretty cool, as you saw. They gave us a demo of some of their new NX line and the 8008 subs, which I have one of those coming. They did not have them very loud, but I'm going to play them loud. You already know that. Are we going to see the new 44G3? I don't believe so. Let's see here. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Please prepare for this brief presentation. And for an optimal listening experience, position yourself in front of our performance area. We are the Adam Hall Group, and we love events. Based in the heart of Germany, we create professional event technology solutions that enable people to electrify their ideas, amplify emotions, and share great moments together. Okay. So, uh, surprise, surprise, no Maui 44 G3s. So we're going to DMB right now for a soundscape experience, I guess. <laughs>
been walking the show floor now. Hope you enjoyed some of those demos. We'll be back in that area in a little bit. Giving you a look at everything around here. But right now we are headed to our friends over at Base Boss. Here is RCF's actual booth. Before we head to Base Boss, did want to show off one thing that might be coming to me soon. Also, shout out, everything is now in white. What I wanted to show off is actually over in this area. And here we are, base boss. I don't hear anything coming from there, so I don't think anything started just yet. Perfect timing. Just made it. <laughs> In case you didn't notice, last year these were about to fall off because of so much bass. So good to see they strapped it down. We've got the Kraken. Check out that pricing. Got the motherfucking line array. Medium format. DV28. SSP215. DV12's right there. You know they never. Mark II. Single 21. Single 18. This is the new Dual 21, I believe. Could be wrong, but I believe that is the new Dual 21. There's the dual 21s again. So we're ready for a fun demo here today. Get our face blown off with bass. You already know. It's more back here. There's a little baby 15 right there. One of the best sounding 15 inch subs. Sort of. It does hit a wall pretty quick. Oh yeah, we're getting ready. I'm gonna switch to the other camera with a better mic. Let's get on to it, because you know this DJI mic is not going to handle this insane amount of bass. So, let's go. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hello, I'm hello. Sammy o with American Music and Sound, and today we have the entire Bass Boss team floating around. We have, at the moment, David Lee at front of house. We have Leah and Amber, our illustrious CEO, Javier Olivares. He's floating around as well. He really um, helps in the... Uh, worldwide development of, of sales and of course the Latin Spanish market, so he's an amazing person to interface with. Welcome to NAM. finally, at the right time of year. Thank you all for coming out and making it. We're actually gonna start with the small stuff, so we won't rattle your inner organs just yet, um, but it'll be, you know, it'll get you kind of warmed up. What I like to do is work through our smallest speakers and then work outward. So we'll have full range tops first, and no subs. So we have the little SV9s, and we're gonna be introducing some new models, so I'll run you through that. But uh, let's kind of jump in, and we'll uh, we'll save some of the new model launch stuff uh, for a second. So David, do you want to uh, key up the
too much, we're gonna spin around slightly. We'll listen to the diamonds, which are the small coaxial 12s in full range mode as well. What's really cool before we play those is on the diamond, that's an awesome portable speaker, especially if there's so much headroom in it, when you pair it with the subwoofer, that what you could do with that kit, you would have to haul way bigger stuff. So if you're doing mobile stuff, the diamond is one of my favorites, and then installs. It's a really amazing install speaker, because A, it looks really cool, you can get it in an active, or we also have rack powered versions. You have up to four on a rack amp, and uh, get around the room. I do have a couple examples uh, over here of our passive versions. We have an enamel charcoal, a uh, enamel charcoal, uh, or white enamel champagne, and we have a textured black, and that one's weatherized. So that's something that you could do for your outdoor installs. Uh, so let's go to the double 12, the AT212. <laughs> has a coaxial 12 inch as well. So that's the next, next point source out. So what's cool about this box is not only can you set this up in an install as well as a portable application, but when you do and you fly it, you can either go in its vertical position, do some angle, or take it to a horizontal, get it up higher, angle it down. So it gives you that flexibility. You don't have to have that traditional vertical form factor um, because of that conical dispersion of that uh, coaxial driver. So that's pretty rad. So last time we're gonna flip around before we get to the big stuff. We'll do the SV9s with the 15 inch subs. And uh, actually before we do that, Cole, let's do the CCM. So these are just launched. I'll tell you a bit about them. So I call this a multi-role speaker. It is a monitor, it's a floor wedge like you see it, but you have a number of angles. So you can do flat tabletop, an angle here, angle here, and angle here. So you can get that angle, whether it's elevated slightly or flat on the floor, you can get that angle right for whatever performer or monitoring that you're doing. Additionally, these angles allow you to go ceiling to roof or ceiling to wall. And that's gonna allow you to tuck that up tight for an install. So whether you're doing some, using them as mains, around the room, you're using these fills, front fills, side fills, any sort of fill you can use it as as well. The other fun thing about this, another coaxial 12, so you get some really great coherent sound coming out of it. It's just, you, know, you don't have that interference with, that you would typically have with separates. So you have a very compact, high output monitor. A lot of other cool features in this. We could talk about it, of course, later, but let's hear those. I got them on the ground for you. Uh, you're welcome to step on up.
super con I mean, you can fit that in some of like a regular car, like yeah. legit. You can fit two of those subs and uh, two tops in a, in a sedan. I've done it. Um, I'm about to say, I've had four of the subs in the Volkswagen. See? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, one time I did this gig in New York City um, at AES out there, and uh, not the expo, but the uh, actual uh, engineering school. I took two of uh, these guys, the DB12s. I did. Uh, two of the single 18s, poles, two media players, mixer, cable bag, and a small suitcase. Uh, put that all in a grand chair. So, and two rolling carts. So this stuff, what Crazy. you can do with it is super amazing. It's like so much output that I would normally have to take a bigger mode of transportation and a lot more gear to do what it does. So, we're gonna go ahead and jump on the DB12 with the DJ18 as a combination. And, uh, and as we spin around, we'll stick with an 18 inch. This is our SSP. So the SSP goes a little bit harder in punch. So this is an all genre friendly sub as well. If I was doing live sound and touring, I usually gravitate towards this because the way it transports on its uh, plane position on a wheel cart. The amplifier is also deeply recessed, so the chance of anything hitting it, if you kind of get sloppy in the doorway, you'll never bump any of the controls. So this is kind of my go-to tour box. It's also a go-to production box. Um, uh, and something I would use for installation because it is flyable. It's great because I can throw some up in the ceiling, put some along the floor or underneath the stage and really get around the room with that low frequency. Um, so that's one of my favorite go-tos. It's gonna have some really great punch to it uh, and that's where it comes in well for live sound. So we'll do that combination that you see here. Yeah. Shall we jump over to the VS21s? Yeah. All right, let's do VS21s and DB12s. <laughs> focus box that really fits anywhere that you would like to deploy it but if I was doing live sound any sort of band work and I really wanted to bring the heat this is a cabinet that I could put so much SPL out of and let it hang with a pile of low frequency elements so um, I can take this and probably run it with all of these subs going this way and it wouldn't you wouldn't lose it it's just mind-blowing so we'll play this top and this double 15. What's great about the double 15 is it's low profile if you're putting it in its horizontal. You can get it tucked under stages, you can fly it, so I think you'll be most impressed with this combination. <laughs> Shock 
chocolate pudding of the subwoofer line. <laughs> it is deep, it is smooth, and it does things no other subwoofer does on the market. So plus minus three down to about 21 hertz. Again, flat to 21. Most subs on the market, they have respectable output, let's say around 70. 60 to 80 hertz, that's where they perform. You start going down, you'll see if you were to measure them, by the time they get to 30, they're on average minus 15. So that's why when you hear most of the subwoofers out on the market, they just don't sound like that really killer car audio system, or they don't sound like that really well-built home theater system. They just, it's just not there. You're listening to these tracks or your studio system, listening to these tracks and they just don't have that sound. Everything in the Bass Boss lineup is designed to give you linear low frequency output way deep into the spectrum before it rolls off. Part of that is power, it's the refined processing. It's about the dedication to creating sound that you should actually receive. And that's what you're used to, but we've been short at that in the pro audio world. So that's a really big passion of the brand and what makes music fun. I mean, bass moves people. That's what gets people dancing and grooving. Um, it makes events special. So ZV28, chocolate pudding subwoofer. I think you guys are love it. Oh. <laughs>
it will melt your face if you wanted to, needed to. So throw Metallica behind it or anybody else, any big tour. Uh, these things are monsters. So we are probably going to play them at a fraction of the power because they're that powerful. So just two of those line arrays, it's mind blowing. So that's what I love about them. They have that power, but they also have that fidelity. So we'll keep the high energy stuff on. Maybe later if we have some time, we'll put on some vocal tracks so you hear what they do and how they especially on the new models. So we'll dive into that a little bit and then we'll get super silly with it. So don't go anywhere, stick around. Um, and while your ears reset, if there's anything of consensus that you'd like to hear model-wise, we'll do that first before we unleash all of the sea monsters, right? Because we have the Makara. Makara is a, a mythical sea monster. And we also have the Kraken. So we're all about uh, really fun stuff. So this thing works. It works now. All right, I, I get to be the beneficiary of the amplification here. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. The uh, the big stuff or the small stuff first? Um, big stuff. Yeah, we work our way down and then we can work our way back up. So this is uh, obviously the new story. This is the Makara. Um, it's, you've heard it, you get a sense of what it does. It, it's, uh, it's intended to sort of... Uh, supplement or at least give people the opportunity to do things with the uh, Bacara that they couldn't previously do with the Kraken. The Kraken is fun, but it's somewhat intimidating and a little bit uh, challenging to move unless you're moving things in 18 wheelers. This makes that a lot less of a daunting prospect. So now you can stack three of them on a cart, roll them around, they'll go through doorways on their backs or on their ends, they stand up, they come, they lie down. Uh, these are the pre-production units, but the production units have actually got pole sockets on all four sides, so you can put tops on top of them with our shorty poles, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, applications, you know. Uh, as you see, we've, we've got the line arrays on top of there, so you get that height filling, you know, the Kraken, then a double 21, then another Kraken, if you can get it up there. Uh, it's quite the visual spectacle if you ever want to go there. Um, so, what is there about this thing that anybody would uh, care to know? It's 294 pounds, it's 5,000 watts of amplification, dual 21 inch woofers, um, minus three measures at uh, 23 hertz. Um, it's got eight presets. The eighth preset is cardioid, so you could put one, two, three, and have a cardioid array and be able to just roll that in and have it ready to go. Um, it's four feet by three feet by 28 inches. And um, let's see, uh, runs on nine amps of uh, current at uh, 120 volts and four and a half amps at 230, 240 volts. And uh, let's see, let's see, that's the story that this thing offers us in terms of the, the physical, uh, and the rest of it is just uh, moving air. Yeah, and to some of his points, uh, a lot of these features span the line. So the onboard presets, are on all the boxes. When you change through the presets, there aren't any audio dropouts. So you can go ahead and cycle through. And those are they gonna be high pass or low pass filters depending upon the, the type of speaker and what combinations you're creating. Additionally, there's some cool remote feature sets that integrate with that. So you can do some remote preset changes. That software is gonna be launching in the near future. So it's an end user accessible LAN connected. So basically your LAN cable hits your first box, you string along, cascade in the next box. 
go in there, you can create groupings, you can change your presets, you can monitor, you have telemetry. Uh, so a lot of great features there. Across the lineup, when we look at the 15 inch sub through the 21 inch single, all of those subs are 2,500 watts. On the double driver subs, they're typically gonna be 5,000, and on the Kraken, we have 10,000 watts. So it's really kind of cool that we have this amplifier series that allows it to give you the power that you need. So we're using that amount of power in a, in a 15, and that's why you're getting that performance. And of course, we're tailoring that power to perform with that driver. Everything's fully processed. So you plug it in, you play, you don't put any processing behind it because we're designing this stuff to be accurate and give you those experiences. That is a, a huge point that I think a lot of folks don't really get about this whole line is that everything is phase coherent. So when you combine any top with any sub or any other sub, any two subs together, and whichever set of presets you choose with the exception of the cardioid, which is specific, they will be phase coherent. You don't have to fiddle with, oh, I gotta change the crossover. The crossover changes are built into the presets and you just do it to your personal taste. Um, you know, everybody's like, oh, what if I put the crossover here, there? It's okay, it'll line up. If you get overlap, you get a little bit of a boost. If it sounds too boomy, move to the next preset. It, it's really that easy. And uh, that's something that makes it so easy to go into a venue, set it up, and just, go, uh, yep, we're good to go. You know, you get 20 minutes and you're ready. That's super, super important. Let's walk over and we'll talk about the CCM, shall we? So this is a box I commented on earlier, multi-role. So it is about filling the needs of multiple people without compromise, right? So it's easy to build something that does too many things, but it, it has a compromise. David spent a lot of time designing this, so it was pretty darn compromise free and it does all of these different roles. So I'll have David talk about the roles. Maybe I'll demonstrate. We'll see. We'll see if I feel like picking this thing up. All right. Oh yeah, this is easy. I could, I could handle two of these. Yeah. Yeah. One hand operation. Um, pretty easy to move around. I think it weighs what? 30, 35 is. Six yeah. pounds. Yeah, so is it? Yeah, 30. Um, yeah, it's got the little, little grab thing. So when you have it on an angle, you can just Right. Um, so it, it, we talk about the multiple angles. That's kind of one of the neat things about this. That position, let me, I'll start here. This position is what I call the standing performer position. So in other words, when you're standing as a performer, it's there at the right angle for you. And the presets one and two are programmed to be full range and uh, high passed, basically. Uh, in that position with the boundary conditions and the angles and reflections and stuff factored into the processing. When you flip it this way, it's a stand. It's a seated performer uh, position, so it, it has a lower angle. So for keyboard players, slide guitar, whatever, and you can. Uh, it also has that boundary programming. You can also monitor monitor for a larger group further away with this position. Then we have the tabletop and drum monitor position. Again, with the boundary programming, that's presets five and six. Yeah. And uh, so that one, you just you put it on a sub, stand it next to a drummer, or stick it on a table for folks who want something just really proximate to where they are. Um, and then the, uh, the last position, obviously, is the front fill slash main slash um, whatever you want to do, you know, with, with it in, you know, you, you can do fly it, whatever you want to do. And, and it has the fly point. So, what we did is we built in the fly point so you can slam that right hard up against the ceiling, get a nice little uh, down angle for that. Um, you can put it at various different angles and you use the preset for, because the boundary conditions are programmed in, you can put that up against the ceiling, put it in that positions program and you don't have to factor out the loading on the ceiling of the wall if it's against that surface or any of the other surfaces. So it makes it really easy to get a good result right out, out of the gate and also it bites feedback. One of the things about a coaxial monitor is that it's very consistent off axis. And so you don't end up, um, you don't end up like with the frequency response changing as the performer moves. So you get feedback here and then you're fighting it and you get, this is much more consistent. And because it's got that boundary programming in it, it helps as a starting point that you don't have. So you only have to really deal with the microphone and not the changes. So it's really nice. Also, as a performer, you get that really consistent 
sound. So it's really comforting. I think the stress levels are reduced as, as a person on stage. Yeah, and you know, you're welcome to come up and check this out. Uh, I'll leave it up here, so feel free. All of the boxes feature the same essential I.O. So you have IP65 True One Powercom connection, so you power in and you can chain to your next box. We have cascading LAN, as I mentioned. You hit your first box in your group if you want to do LAN connectivity, and you just chain box to box to box. And again, you can group those in the software. That's a feature set that'll be rolling out soon. And then as far as the XLR goes, you can go to any baseball speaker with your with your feed and then chain it to the next if you if you so desire. There's no processing that's added to the signal, so you're safe there. The preset button is right here, and it'll indicate in an LED which preset you're on. And there are some status conditions, like if you're powered up, if everything's ready to go, if you have, where you're at on the signal side, there's a minus 12 dB, minus 6 dB, uh, a uh, limiting overheat protect mode, just some nice sort of data that you can get quick and easy without diving into the software. So everybody's welcome to come up, feel this, touch it, take a look at it, play around with it. Um, and this one's not turned on, so you don't have to worry about your ears at all. So yeah, those are the new uh, the new toys, the, the big one and the small. And um, we've still got lots of really cool things that are uh, uh, suitable for lots of purposes. Uh, to go to what Samia said about this particular box having a lot of functionality in different uh, applications, but not compromises. It, it, it is that, but it isn't everything to all people, uh, but it does. It is a heck of a thing to put in your toolbox. It, it, it's, you know, your basic Leatherman. If you have this, you, the, most of the time the answer is, yeah, we can do that. Um, this kind of box right here I'll mention is specifically for being used in this kind of condition. It's not meant to be used in uh, you know flown in a ceiling or as a wedge monitor and so on and so forth and so it avoids the compromise associated with making a box that isn't good for a particular purpose but is good for more so we have these two and between them you've got this application and this application and with the diamond you've got a little bit of flair and aesthetic and so the, the combination for the smaller boxes is pretty much going to cover everything i can think of that people will need until they need something louder and bigger Speaking of louder and bigger, before we dive into blow the roof off the place type experiences, would anybody like to hear anything, any consensus on some models of interest that you'd like to hear? The Krakens! <laughs> I, I think just go full all out with it. Y'all ready for full all out? Yeah. All right. We got it to do the subtlety here. <laughs> if you got Get Low by the Yin Yang Twins in there, that'd be great too. Love to hear that deepness on that.
system right there. God damn. Oh my god. Wow. Yep. 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 We gotta sweep again. Wow. From the floor. Alright, and we are back here in the sound hall, sound room, whatever you want to call it. There's QSC. Not gonna bother with the demo because QSC does not have anything new. And the L-Class was some of the worst sounding speakers I've ever heard. The KS-118 is one of the worst sounding subwoofers I've ever heard. Better off getting an ICOA. Uh, again, the L-Class, not good. Not good at all. I was here last year, it sounded just awful. So, yeah, don't bother with QSC. I don't know what's going on with their brand, but it is certainly not worth it anymore. Maybe they'll have a 10.3 soon. Who knows, but for now, Still 12.2, what are we? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten years later? I don't know. There's Sennheiser. I don't really need a whole demo of Sennheiser. You know they're the only mics that work. And if you use Sure mics, then you surely should not be a DJ or in this profession because Sure mics are absolute garbage. Every single one of them. I would never trust a Sure mic. I have been failed by them so many times, so it is 100% not worth it. So if you use Shure mics, that is all on you. I don't care what you try to tell me, I will never use a Shure mic, not even SM58. All my love is for Sennheiser. Going around a little, there's Alcon's Audio. Evie's over there, finally back in their corner spot. We're gonna check them out a little later today. So stay tuned. EV, we're gonna check out at around three o'clock today. PK Sound, we're gonna check out at two. PK Sound, they're new to Nam, I think. Food is smelling delicious, making me hungry. All right now, though, we are gonna go check out Meyer, I believe. Over here, you got Alan and Heath. All your popular mixing boards, of course. Everything you could ever want from Alan and Heath. And back at RCF as we showed off before over here you have the nx series in white 932 which might be my next speaker i don't know how much the white is it's not on their website yet hopefully we'll find out soon enough we got the 912 and the 915 as well and the ttl 4a Speaker. Very cool looking model. Very expensive looking model, too. Right? Knowing the environment that we've been dealt today. So, pugs who sit in the back, I'm going to take us from these small point boxes into the TA system. Oh, so my voice just got lost. I'm now reflecting off the back wall. And that's a straight line on my sound play. Obviously not ideal, so Daryl, if you can go ahead and move the vertical plane for me. We have the ability, I'll remind you, to do this at 0 0.1 degrees of resolution. And while that's happening, you start to hear my voice come more and more into focus. I think I mentioned to you too how incredible it is to be on the stage while that's happening. All of that reflective energy off the back wall starts to come into focus. And I go, oh, okay, I understand what's happening now. That starts to make sense, but I, I told you already we're greedy, and I always want a little bit more. Let's go to the horizontal plane and narrow the waveguides to 60 degrees, and once again, you start to hear the coverage patterns start to narrow. My voice starts to narrow. Of course, we're still in a challenging room. Nobody can change that, right? Well, I could have knocked the floor down, I guess, and maybe draped it like everybody else, but what would that have shown me? Nothing. Our goal is to show you that it's possible to achieve more with this technology, it's possible for us to do more than we realized we could. And we can even go further. Let's taper it for the people in the front here, just so we have a perfect symmetry to this performance, the best we could possibly achieve in a room like this. And then I'll ask my friend Pugs at the back there to give us a selection of music from a lot of dynamic range to some more higher output energy stuff so you can hear how the system performs. 
um, and we'll come right back to you after hugs if you don't mind. on the side step above the thumb go and you already know I love the thumb go it's the best battery powered speaker by far anybody that says otherwise is completely wrong like you little everse users out there let's see you try to adjust the mic and the music volume at the same time oh wait you can't because you have to press two or three buttons what a stupid design everse is one of the worst battery powered speakers you guys want to waste your time doing that and trying to navigate five different menus just to get to one little setting. Do that. But if you want to be smart like me, get the thumb go. It sounds wonderful. Never a problem. And now we are here at the EV booth. You know my thoughts about the Everse and EV in general. Nothing but issues, but we'll give them a chance today. Let's see what it all sounds like. But then again, maybe not. I do this for you guys. All for you. You're about to hear a selection of loudspeaker models from the most powerful family in portable sound. A range of options to suit any application and every budget. Always delivering professional grade performance, state of the art features, and real world reliability. Let's get going. Now play Everse 8, 8 inch two way battery powered loudspeaker. Everse 8 redefines what a compact battery-powered PA speaker is capable of. 
It provides a truly portable and truly wireless audio experience at a price and performance level unmatched by current comparable products on the market. Everse 8's superior sound quality, long runtime, and user-friendly all-in-one system design open up real pro audio quality to a wider range of users than ever before, wherever a PA is needed. Here for yourself. Been a hell of a week, but we made it. Yeah, we made it. Hear the bar shutting down, but we're staying. Yeah, we're staying. Only got so long till the morning comes, and life is too short to be wasted. So hurry up, twist me something to make it strong enough. Last long enough before the night. Everse 12, 12 inch two way battery powered loudspeaker. Big sound meets battery power with the brand new Everse 12, the larger sibling to the breakthrough Everse 8. This is a PA with pro sound quality that you can take anywhere, indoors or out. Premium features include a titanium dome compression driver, up to 12 hours of runtime, true stereo streaming, power for mobile devices and a wireless microphone system, quick smart mobile control and mixing, and much more. Great sound to grab and go. Powered column system with six 2.8 inch drivers and a 10 inch subwoofer. The most compact member of the Evolve family, the Evolve 30M, represents a significant step up in all around performance for a column system at its size and price point. Blending superior sound quality with flexible plug and play functionality, the Evolve 30M's best in class feature set includes an eight channel digital mixer, high resolution streaming, studio quality onboard effects, and remote control of all audio, effects, and mix functions via the Quick Smart Mobile app.
Now playing. Evolve 50. Powered column inch subwoofer. Evolve 50 combines sophisticated looks and simple setup with serious punch. It's the go-to when you need room-filling performance in a streamlined package. User-friendly QuickSmart Mobile Remote Control makes it easy to dial in your sound. The 50M version adds an integrated, fully-featured, fully configurable 8-channel digital mixer and full remote control and system expansion functionality. Evolve 50. Sleek. Sounds. Stunning. ZLX 15BT, 15-inch two-way powered loudspeaker. Often imitated, but never equaled. The now iconic ZLX has won fans around the world with a winning combination of Electrovoice sound quality, everyday durability, user-friendly features, including quick smart DSP and Bluetooth streaming, and all around bang for the buck that the competition simply cannot touch at its price point. And many have tried. With over 1 million units sold, ZLX stands apart from the pack as the best-selling pro audio speaker series on the planet. with ELX 212 SP, 10 inch two way powered loudspeaker and 12 inch powered subwoofer. ELX 200 is the box that does more and weighs less. With professional sound quality, quick smart mobile control and electro voice engineered components presented in a compact form factor, ELX 200 provides a truly potent mix of performance and portability. This low profile 10 inch top and 12 inch sub setup delivers heavyweight PA capability with lightweight convenience. Said all the people and places they seem to change, but I remain the same. I got no doubt, no girl, no doubt left to name. And I won't wait in pain because I got a whole lot of love and company. I mean, you like Yeah. Right. 
playing EKX 12P with EKX 18 SP. 12 inch two way powered loudspeaker and 18 inch powered subwoofer. A step up from ELX 200, the EKX series gives you a higher level of performance not usually found at its price point. Their design concept matches the classic appeal of precision engineered wood enclosures with premium quality internal components and powerful processing all adding up to achieve maximum sonic impact with minimum effort. with two ETX 18 SP, 15 inch three way powered loudspeaker and two 18 inch powered subwoofers. ETX powered loudspeakers are the top of the line members of the Electro Voice portable sound family. Engineered from the ground up to be the highest spec products in their class, designed to deliver advanced audio performance with all around versatility. Combine the three way top with a pair of 18 inch subs and the results speak for themselves. Yorkville booth, some New Yorkville products here. Maybe not new, I don't know, I don't really use Yorkville, but for those of you that do, a lot of people swear by them. I had HK Audio for a little bit. Wasn't the biggest fan. It did sound great, however, just not as clean as you would really want, so that's why the RCFs are on their way. Surprise, surprise. Thought they would have a much bigger booth than that based on the size that they had on the map, but they do not. So we've seen just about everything in this hall. Gonna come back for some demos in a little bit as well. I don't know what this brand is. I don't think JBL's even here this year. Maybe they are. Maybe I just need to look for Harmon. But not entirely sure on that. But anyway, yeah. That is the audio side of things over here. We haven't even made it to the other side yet, but I'm gonna go do that now. Let's go. Um, John is over here. He's the Eastern guy. So uh, presidents here, got a, uh, our international uh, sales managers here, and a couple other employees are here as well. So there's a lot of us here. If you guys have questions on anything, please see us afterwards. We're happy to answer anything um, and help you with your business. So uh, to get started, um, I'm going to let uh, TJ on a video explain how our products are now being consolidated into several categories and where they sit. So. EAW offers a broad range of professional loudspeakers for any application. EAW loudspeakers can be divided into three categories, portable, professional, and engineered systems. Within each of these categories, EAW offers core and premium solutions to fit your application and budget. Seven technologies are used throughout the product line. Each has been painstakingly developed by EAW Engineering over the past 45 years with the single aim of helping professionals take control of their sound. Many of these core technologies are protected by US and international patents for the unique and groundbreaking way they solve acoustic problems. EAW's engineering systems are specified by consultants and design build integrators for installation in stadiums, schools, performing arts centers, and houses of worship whenever high quality controlled coverage is required. EAW's engineered products are all passive and available in multiple woofer sizes, horn patterns, colors, and weather rated finishes. 
EAW portable systems are active solutions with the features professional users require. EAW's portable systems are used in corporate AV, education, houses of worship, live music venues, and regional festivals. Multiple line arrays, point sources, and subwoofers are available. Model numbers with an X indicate products with networking and Dante. Rider ready performance for touring and installation applications is available with EAW Professional Systems. Active and passive solutions are provided to fit the application and your workflow. You will find EAW Professional Systems at festivals, concerts, houses of worship, corporate AV, stadiums, and arenas. All right, so some of the new products we have today are in the portable category, and uh, so we have a new uh, 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 series called LA. So this is the new LA series that we're showing at, uh, at NAMM this year. And so we're gonna take a look at uh, LA RS, uh, which is, uh, we'll have a listen to after the uh, technical video. The LA and RS series from EAW represent an investment maximized around transducers and simple deployment. Professional production companies and live acts will find the Composite Enclosure LA and Birch Cabinet RS capable of supporting a wide variety of events with consistent class-leading performance. Both series are comprised of four products, two 12-inch woofer and two 15-inch woofer variants. Each woofer size also includes a professional and performance version based on the high-frequency voice coil size. Models ending in one indicate a one-inch voice coil high-frequency driver, Models ending in a three indicate a three inch voice coil high frequency driver. Take LA or RS on the road to support any portable event. Small to medium live shows, weddings, corporate events, restaurants, bars, and clubs. The LA series was designed with pole mounted deployments in mind. The asymmetric horn pattern directs coverage where it is required and eliminates unwanted reflections. To add flexibility to your investment, the unique cabinet design allows for floor wedge operation. A switch on the amplifier recalls a pre-programmed preset best suited for floor monitor applications where maximum clarity and gain before feedback is required. Designed for simplicity of use, all speaker tunings come pre-programmed in the amplifier by EAW Engineering. Both product lines utilize focusing technology, also known as FIR filtering, and beam with match crossovers for improved clarity and accuracy. Maximum output and coherence are attained with EAW Dyno technology. Connecting a source to the input and adjusting the input level is all that is needed to get great sound. An XLR loop through makes wiring clean and fast when multiple loudspeakers and subwoofers are used. When additional low frequency extension is required, RS-115 and RS-118 subwoofers pair seamlessly with LA and RS full range loudspeakers. Large ports designed to maximize sensitivity and neutralize internal reflection also minimize chuffing to provide excellent bass response. Both subwoofers utilize a threaded pull mount for secure industry standard mounting of RS or LA full range loudspeakers. Bolt on casters provide for easy transportation and high quality fabric covers are available for RS full range cabinets and subwoofers to protect the birch finish during transportation. All right, so we're gonna take a listen to these now. So what we have for you today is the LA-123. We have an RS-123 and both of the RS subs to go with them. So to, to begin our listening, we're gonna start with the LA-123. That's the three inch composite cabinet. And uh, we'll listen to these first on their own. You, you light up in the dark. You're the glow in a restless work of art Oh, I see, I see you shine a star You're the light through my window from afar Oh, and don't you forget The only thing that matters is your heartbeat going strong Oh, don't you forget Nothing else can matter cause you know where I belong. Okay, 
Okay, that's good. the LA 123. Like now we'll listen to another track on the same system, but this time we're going to add the RS 115 15-inch subwoofer to portray this as an entire system. Okay, so we'll play a track on those. Everybody's which is the three inch driver and the birch cabinet and we'll listen to start we'll listen to these on their own first <laughs> And then just like uh, before, we're going to add a subwoofer to it. And this time we're going to add the RS-118 18-inch subwoofer with the RS-123. System, and we'll let TJ explain the technical aspects of that. NTX 210L and KF 210 sound big and powerful while being easy to move around. These loudspeakers are the everyday workhorse your production company is looking for. Both loudspeakers are based on dual 10 inch woofers and utilize EAW's patented isophasic waveguide. Construction is all birch wood sealed with rugged road coat. NTX is self-powered. The amplifier accepts Dante and analog inputs. The Dante input can be looped through to additional loudspeakers to simplify setup. Mains power is supplied to the universal power factor corrected power supply through a locking Neutrik True One top connector. NTX 210L features OptiLogic, allowing each array to self-configure and optimize without the use of a network or computer. EAW's patented OptiLogic technology gets you up and running faster and with fewer opportunities for error. Okay, so let's take a listen to the NTX 210 we have here to the left and right. Let's uh, light them up if we can. There we go. And then we're going to listen to these as a full system with the uh, SVX 218 18 subs. So we'll start with that. I wish I could just make you turn around Turn around and see me cry There's so much I need to say to you So many reasons why You're the only one who really knew me at all So take a look at me now Oh, there's just an empty space
that was the NCX 210. Uh, now the next thing we'll go into another brand new product that we are uh, debuting here at the NAM show. It is a, uh, a new floor monitor line we call SM12. And the, uh, the thing to take note of, it's inspired by a legendary successful product that we also make called the Micro Wedge. If you guys have heard of that, um, it's a series of high performance touring uh, floor monitors. And we've uh, basically made a new, uh, new floor, which is inspired by this, uh, that's got si some similar patterns for it for uh, a, a lesser cost uh, um, in comparison to the, uh, the full uh, touring product. So to explain that uh, about what the micro wedge is and to uh, highlight what the differences are between SM, the new SM12, we'll let the legendary Dave Ratt tell us a little bit about his micro wedge. The micro wedge was designed to cover top level world class touring artists, Chili Peppers, Pearl Jam, you know, Rage Against the Machine, but taking them out on big, loud tours. So if you have multiple wedges with multiple signals, now you've got all this sound coming from various spaces. That modularity for enhanced intelligibility is the focus of it. Meanwhile, having a passive mode so that you can have all these sources and not tie up a lot of channels. Micro wedges come in four sizes, the 8, 10, 12, and 15. These things are designed to work together in families and clusters, having multiple lower volume things more intricately mixed together. As it progressed, this became a popular wedge with smaller sound vendors because here's a wedge that major acts are touring with that can be used in passive mode, deployed at a lower cost, and still achieve that same sound quality. Some of the things that make the micro wedge unique are the 12 gauge perforated steel grill. You can stand on it, you can jump on it. Micro wedge has got a patent on trapezoidal with the radial front. Another thing that micro wedge has is foam absorbers. The port to the floor gives this added low end to get like 3 dB extra low end warmth radiated out of the wedge. It's like cheating. It's not even fair. The connectors are in the port. From the audience side and the camera angles, a micro wedge stage has no cables. On the bottom, there's fly track, the ability to put extension feet that can be mounted in there and change the tilt, but also the ability to fly these above and use them as fills. There's a tripod mount that slides into the port and I use them speaker on stick. The family of micro wedges give you an outlay of versatile tools that can be extremely useful and achieve very desirable results. Bringing the micro wedge design to EAW and working with the engineers and team there was one of the most enjoyable experiences that I've ever had in pro audio. EAW has come out with a new wedge that's inspired by the micro wedge design. They've incorporated some of the features, the porting to the floor. They've added some directional control to the horn, and that's a 60 by 90 rotatable. It's got a robust grill, and they've got a built-in tilt angle to it. So it's, it's inspired by, it's kind of like a micro wedge light and I'm honored to see that happening. All right, so this is the SM12 uh, lit up here in front of you. And uh, to make it easier to, to uh, uh, listen demo for you, we put a couple of them on speaker poles over here to your left. So we're gonna play a couple of tracks on them so you can hear them uh, over here as a system. EAW's acoustically powerful and architecturally elegant adaptive column loudspeaker. A weather rating of IP54 and a rugged powder coated aluminum chassis means you can use AC6 anywhere. Each AC6 is made up of 36 closely spaced and individually powered transducers, 30 1 inch dome tweeters, and 6 6 inch woofers. The 6-inch woofers combine to provide low frequency response down to 65 Hz. This is lower than any other steerable column, 
making AC-6 the only choice when full range reinforcement is a requirement. The 31 inch dome tweeters are mounted to EAW's patented CSA waveguide. This approach allows both band passes to combine coherently in the listening area. Evenly and closely spaced transducers also enable full adaptive control from 65 Hz to 20 kHz. No other steerable column can make this claim. This is important because it enables better performance using fewer loudspeakers. AC6 accepts Dante and analog audio. The Power Factor corrected universal power supply accepts any voltage and frequency, 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. All signals and power are internally looped through to the top of the loudspeaker to enable clean wire management when AC6 is arrayed. Proximity sensors in the top and bottom automatically detect adjacent AC6 and allow them to be controlled as a single unit. Control is accomplished with Resolution 2 or the back panel interface. The back panel interface is useful when it is impossible or impractical to set up a network and computer. There are two options for configuring AC6 from the back panel. Option one is to recall presets stored in the loudspeaker. Option two allows adaptive coverage to be defined by entering the height of the array and the distance to the front and back rows. Patent pending technology calculates adaptive coverage in seconds and wirelessly transmits it to other loudspeakers in the array. Okay, before we listen to it, I want to explain a couple of things. So you guys might have heard other column speakers before. Uh, what you may not know is AC6 uh, yeah, well, actually, before I start with that statement, um, most uh, column speakers that you find out there are maybe good at one thing or the other. So you might find some are really good at speech and directivity, but not so much as high SPI, high fidelity music, or the ones that are good at high fidelity music might not be so good at, at directivity control and all that uh, stuff to, at the same time. AC6 is essentially the perfect uh, column loudspeaker in that it can do the amount of directivity control more than any other steerable column that's on the market and is one of the most high fidelity uh, uh, column speakers out there and is arguably maybe the highest SPL um, uh, performance uh, column loudspeaker that's out there. So to show you that, to give you some idea how, uh, uh, how this is, um, I'm going to start by playing a, an audio file vocal track so you can appreciate the fidelity of the column first. Um, so let's start with that. We're just going to listen to just the AC6 column by itself, no subs. Someday I'll wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are far behind me Where troubles melt like lemon drops Away above the chimney tops That's where you'll find When all the clouds are a hopeless jumble And the raindrops tumble to the ground Heaven opens a magic lane When all the clouds darken up the skyway There's a rainbow highway to be found fidelity audio quality that we can produce from our AC6 uh, 
adapt to calm. So now in contrast, I'm going to show you the other side of it. We're going to play something also that you wouldn't expect to be well reproduced by most other typical calm speakers out there. Um, so we're going to turn this up uh, fairly loud and we're going to play a couple of different tracks. The first one's going to be a heavy guitar rug track. And we're going to add the... We're going to add the SBX 118 sub, so this will be a, an entire stack as a system that you're listening to. All right, now we're going to step it up again. We're going to add, instead of the single subs, we're going to add the uh, two double 18 subs that we have here, and we're going to play uh, a, a high SPL club track. Giant tropical centipedes share their territories with tarantulas. This centipede is a predator. Adaptive uh, loudspeakers are very uh, unique in that they can create exact con uh, controlled, even coverage and response over an entire area, area and configurable however you need to. They make them a unique uh, uh, tool uh, that's really good for doing things like an immersive audio system. So that's kind of what we're going to hear today. Um, but to explain the benefits of adaptive for immersive, I'm going to let one of our newest employees at EAW explain this for you. So take it away. My name is Robert Scoville. I have been mixing for about a little over 40 years now, and I'm currently mixing Kenny Chesney. And you can kind of see the challenge coming uh, from large scale concert sound with immersive. None the least of which, even in a simple design, you're going to end up with a lot of arrays hanging in the building. Given that you're going to have to fly your front field arrays uh, very high in order to stay out of the production visual aspects, your vertical coverage is essentially going to invert, right? You're now going to be tasked with getting a lot of energy headed down as opposed to up. Add to that the idea that we need to expand horizontal coverage, meaning we want a lot of overlap in these front arrays for sure. Now, if that's not enough, uh, you know, if you have a remotely amplified system, now you're talking about running tons and tons of speaker cable up there. My history with adaptive goes back to some of the early days of it. I used it on two Tom Petty and the Heartbreaker tours. I've used adaptive in every environment, really, you know, in traditional kind of stereo and LCR configurations, everything from uh, small theater all the way out to baseball and football stadiums. In those environments, you realize very quickly how important it is to have that kind of vertical control and be able to expand horizontal coverage very easily. Add to that the resolution software where it is not predicting what your coverage is going to be, it is creating your coverage polar. So you're going to be very, very accurate in your coverage for an entire audience. You're going to know exactly where audio is going and where it's not going. It just became so easy. I, I just I just fell in love with it very quickly. We got just incredible results with it. With the adaptive technology, you don't have to rely on a long vertical line to cover a long vertical geometry. You can fly much shorter arrays and still have the same output capabilities of a normal long articulated array, right? That's that's probably adaptive's calling card here. In addition to that, because of the way the adaptive arrays are designed, the ability to expand horizontal is very easy. I mean, it's all built into the arrayability of that array. You can just buckle up another, you know, 70, 80, 100 degrees of coverage uh, into any array that you want to do. Acoustically, electronically, whatever we're listening to sounds much more like a point source, which is absolutely what you want uh, in an immersive environment. The idea of having overlapping coverage actually becomes very easy there. Also with adaptive, you're talking about self-contained systems here, meaning all amplification, all DSP is self-contained in the cabinet, and audio and control is delivered to the system by a network, right? So in terms of cabling extensive amount, numbers of arrays, it's very easy. I mean, it's a breeze to get signal delivered and powered up, and you're off to the races there. It's easier to rig, uh, it's easier to adjust, it's gonna be easier to deploy in terms of the infrastructure, 
without question, that's going to be a huge benefit to it. So easy, easy, easy on three columns right there. That in and of itself is a pretty big impact. Add to that the ease of coverage now, boy, you've got a lot of really, really good quality tools at your disposal there. All right, pretty interesting there. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to listen to uh, uh, this system we have in this room that has been processed with an immersive engine. And we're going to start out with, I'm going to show you a couple of real life applications that you could use this for. So what we have here is a, uh, I forgot again, 11 channels, 11 channels, I don't know why I can't remember that, 11 channel system. So we've got five across the front and, uh, you know, uh, six across the rest of the room. And these five speakers across the front, what they're doing is instead of what you would normally do with left, center, right, or trying to pan something, they're actually creating a wave field front uh, system where you can take any source and put it somewhere in space and it recreates that wave field at, at wherever you're at so that you perceive that source somewhere either out there or close to you or far away or you know somewhere off in the field. So what this example is going to be is we are all going to be inside a an orchestra a symphony hall and uh, there's going to be this orchestra here that's been it's all been uh, individually mic'd and processed in uh, that we're going to feel like we're at the back of the hall and the orchestra is, is way down on stage and then at some point during the video you're going to see uh, the orchestra move it's going to sound like we actually walked up on stage and uh, uh, we're being developed by uh, the musicians and then it's going to move away again the video is is separate than the playback so we're trying to time it so it matches the playback but you'll get the idea so and uh, are you ready to go all right let's do it coverage, whether you need it to start here or end here or whatever it is for these types of systems can become a really beneficial tool for that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, and also you guys, um, if you guys kind of come closer into the room away from the back wall, you'll get a better experience and really feel like you're in the spaces. Um, the next thing we're going to do is give you another real life example of something that you could do either live with an immersive system. <laughs>
there? Mm -hmm. yes. my bags last night, free flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. I miss the earth so much, I miss my wife. track so we're gonna play that on the system and there's no video for this one Set up this time. Not as big of a booth as they normally have, but it's a 
right? There's Hercules, DJ. Oh, Carlo's gonna be here tomorrow. Carlo and Tendido. I know him. I'm sure Jay Brandon is walking around here somewhere, but again, I don't really understand the appeal of all the Pioneer controllers, how there's 26 of them and they all pretty much do the same thing. They're all very twisted. So here's Hercules. I don't think they got anything new. Got their little baby mixer. My DJ Control Impulse 500 Gold Edition 19 out of 1000, you already know, which is going away soon in favor of the Rain 4. The moving platters right there. T7, I don't like moving platters, so I'm not going to be getting that. Pro X is here, showing off all their clamps. All their special adapters, road cases, gap tape. You already know. Pro X doing Pro X things. Black truss, bolt on, stage decking, DJ consoles. Still don't think I'll ever get into that, but it is what it is. Oh god, here's Pioneer quote-unquote pro audio. I will tell you, all of Pioneer's audio products are some of the worst sounding I've ever heard. So Tyler Wallace may think otherwise. I have to disagree. Those do not sound good. When I've heard them. I've heard them demoed too. We got Rasha Professional here. Oh look, it's some of Rick, Rick Webb's tubes. God, these look so cheap. These are so cheap and so tacky looking. Anybody that gets these both lighting tubes, man, they're so cheap looking. I mean, if you like them, great, but uh, not a fan. Froggy's Fog. Oh, they got a Fog Jet. That's pretty badass. I had this Chevet one when, when it came out and it was horrible. It was, cause like you had to put your own fan and then your fan would be too strong so they'd pop and then they just wouldn't float. And so I'm like, unless you're getting it 50 feet in the air, you guys have, you guys have perfected it. Yeah. I like that. I don't know though, I've used it. Every time I used it, people slip and fall over the floor. So it's, it's perfect for outside, but not on a wood dance floor. That's the fog gun. I don't want to see the fog gun in action. Do you see the bubble haze? Froggy's fog, fobbles. This one actually comes with the built in fans, so you can get that haze way up there. Let's do cut. Can't argue with free stuff. Let's go check out JMAZ while we're here. Let's go 
go check out J Maz. All sorts of stuff here. I think I mentioned earlier, maybe I didn't mention it, but J Maz has some new tubes. These are J Maz's version of the Asteras. Oh, wow. That almost looks just like an Astera tube. Not quite as bright, though. But that's definitely a possibility. hoping to make it big with their little boots, demoing some cool stuff. I do have a demo that I'm going to go hit up in just a minute, but I wanted to check out some of this stuff first. We've got about 15 minutes to kill, so I figured why not. Let's go check out Pioneer slash Alpha Theta. Seems to be the biggest thing today. Everybody's all, oh my god, Pioneer, Alpha, Theta. Who cares? We're still going to make controllers that break. It's amazing that, you know, you would think a company that charges so much and is industry standard, that you never have any problems with any of their controllers. That is the furthest thing from the truth. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know what's going on there. There's always something. Who knows? Nobody ever tells me about these instrument demos, nor do I really seem to care. Not that I seem to care, I really don't care. So there's Pioneer slash Alpha Theta. I don't believe they actually have a demo room this year. I think they just have the boot displays. So I'm not really going to spend much time here. And again, I don't really care. You know, all the usual characters are here. Hopefully you can hear me. DJs. Focus quad. Those sound 
terrible. These sound awful. Like straight up, if you are a pioneer person, you should not get their gear in terms of audio. Mixer, sure. Audio, nah. I'm gonna try and get a shirt though. It's a fun little display. Alpha Theta Care. Now entering yet again Hall A. Started with JBL yesterday. Let's see what we see. Video walls for less. Don't know any of those people. Remember, th remember this last year? The LED wall, we saw this last year. Didn't really pique our interest too much besides, doesn't look like they've made much progress. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to see if they have the little gator figures. Oh, they do, yes. I've got a collection of these uh, on my desk now. Let me get one that's not as fucked up. Oh, he's broken. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. German lighting products, the most expensive. We got Antari here, fog machines, snow machines, fire machines. No. No, I will never get a podium booth. I will never get a podium booth. Devin says I need a podium booth. Oh, the LED booth? Somebody else told me about this. It was like five grand or something like that. I don't know. It's just good. It's cool, but again, it's it's not big enough. I need six feet wide on the de on the table. You have a six and a Yeah. All right. All right where's the where's the card? Because right I'm looking at like an all-in-one DJ booth. Um, I can never do those because I don't want to stand on any cables, nor do I want to spend time organizing cables. So something like this would be... Oh, okay. So what's the assembly like? None. Really? You design it to not break down like you can. It's the most right Yeah. It has a roll case where you just open the side, it becomes a ramp, and then just goes to the house. Oh, okay. It has wheels, so... You got a rack mount behind there too? Or you can rack mount? You can. Okay. And it's metal too, so. Yeah, aluminum, everything. Okay. Very cool. I might look into that. I know. So we're at the Rasha Professional Lighting Booth. What's he running? Yeah. 
There's your Evox 12s. All you guys that think these sound good, I will never understand. Man. They do not sound good at all. Very cool, though. What are you running all this with? What's that? Uh, magic. Oh, Magic Cube. Cool. Cool little boot they got here at Russia. They got Rick Webb tubes. All sorts of good stuff. So I wasn't recording that, but uh, the tubes here, it's going to be $3,000 for a six pack when they come out. So around the range of Astera's. Here's some stats on them. Cool looking lights. They got these coming out too, the centipede, which are like multi-function lights. True one as well. Those are pretty badass. J Maz got a lot of new stuff coming out. Running it off of Onyx, which I might look into switching over to, but maybe not. We'll see. That's a nice screen, man. Another cool product from JMAS. Good. Hey, good. We're looking. Do you have any questions? What are these for? Yeah. Those are just like a tabletop. Lamp. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So if you want your table people to have a seizure and strobe them with the rest of the show, you can do that. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. I like that. Do you have any info on that one? Um. That's the only. Th you guys. You guys always have cool stuff I've never seen. I know, right? Like the tubes are are nice. They're it's finally like power, close man. to Astera. Because I'm not gonna buy Astera tubes. Okay. And then these right here, that's like yeah. everybody's like come to check Yeah, those are gnarly. Yeah. I just can only imagine how many DMX channels there are. Oh my gosh. Which, wow. yeah, I'm sure there's auto programs, but. Oh yeah, for sure. You know when those are coming out? Those, um, I think we should have them by like March or April. Okay. Stock, yeah. March or April. Mm -hmm. All the cool stuff. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, those are cool. Art Deco. You can make your guests have a nice, fun experience too. <laughs> Is it? We want to make it to the sound check at 11 in the arena. Oh, there you go. Here's Chinese speakers. Carlo Entendido right there. World famous YouTuber. From the Philippines. Hercules right there. Build your own knob. Play anything. I know, I'm trying to get in the load. You have shitty service? You got free Wi Fi here. No, nah, because I, uh. I don't have anything safe. No, I do. They want to nail you to the cross, nigga. Uh, uh. We gonna rise on the seventh day and ball. Uh. Back in the kitchen, smelling like burning rubber. It ain't a secret, I'm a money burning mother. New school, chrome rims, the no white coupe, walking on wall.
Dog Motivation 103 on the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> know that. Snow. Checking out the hose booth here. All your cabling needs. Speak on, breakouts. Do they have any free stuff? Yeah. Snack on those. Thank you. Snag your hose of swag. Let's see what on stage has. Oh, look at that. Is that a lighting stand or a speaker stand? A speaker stand. Yeah. This is a uh, speaker stand. Because it's not a light. It's not It's tapered at the top. How about that? Remember how I had those Pile Pros, everybody? Well, maybe we'll see a return of those Pile Pros, but it's generation. Because I've been looking. Remember I had those Pile Pro stands? Uh... Sorry. We're at the PV booth. I will tell you, these all sound terrible. Every single one of them. Every product PV owns sounds absolutely terrible.
the XPS amplifiers is engineered to deliver ultra low distortion and high amplitude long time bursts for massive dynamic headroom. Our TTR16K Turac provides a turnkey amplification package, including three XPS amplifiers, signal management panels with robust and durable connectors to ensure optimum reliability. For ease of use and quick setup, all, all GTX Jesus. components use the same robust 8-pin PCOM connector. All transducers used in TT Plus audio systems are designed from the ground up, specifically for their purpose. Listen to some music to experience the truly impressive sound quality of the GTX 10 in full range mode without subwoofers. The symmetrical design of the cabinet produces identical left and right coverage. The GTX 10's component positioning really and good. special FIR DSP crossover filtering deliver transparent sound, absolute clarity, and perfect imaging to the listener. Our special fear phase processing algorithm distributes sound without phase distortion, ensuring minimal latency in the system. In addition, our R&D team pushed the boundaries even further by developing the new base motion control algorithm, which further enhances the GTX's phase response by replacing traditional crossovers and improving the system's overall transient response with extended linearity and improved sonic integrity. Here is another audio sample in full range mode, again without subwoofers. GTX systems can be set up with predefined customizable preset libraries. These libraries can be accessed via the XPS amplifier's touchscreen without the need for a computer. 
Monitoring and control can also be achieved using a true ethernet connection and our flexible RDNet software. RDNet can be used to create preset libraries, set up and configure GTX Turex, monitor all connected devices, select signal routing, adjust for environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity, measure phase alignment with the included full feature FFT analyzer, Use the integrated Easy Shape Designer to make predictions and obtain details of a GTX system's weight, pick points, safety factors, etc. For complex three-dimensional predictions of the system, a new tool called Shape D3D will be available soon. Let us now listen to the whole system, starting with a sound check using real instruments and listening to their dynamics.
station with the GTX-10. This was the GTS-29 passive high performance subwoofer. The GTS-29 is a dual 19-inch subwoofer module for low frequency extension in demanding touring and installation applications, both indoors and outdoors. Equipped with two high excursion transducers, it offers excellent reproduction quality and extreme sound pressure levels. The cabinet has front and rear PCOM connectors for easy use in a cardioid configuration. The GTS-29 subwoofers can be ground stacked or flown in setups of up to 16 modules. Listen to the next sample. The system is completed by our full-size GTX-12 dual 12-inch three-way quad-amp line array. All systems can be combined with our proven TT Plus point sources. The monitoring and control of hybrid systems consisting of passive GTX systems combined with self-powered front fills, for example, underlines the flexibility of the concept. A single XPS 16K amplifier can drive four GTS 29 subwoofers and up to six GTX 10 or three GTX 12 line array modules using a single PCOM cable. Thank you for your attention. Please feel free to contact us for a tech talk. Visit our booth or browse our website at ttaudio.com. Hello and welcome, um, uh, welcome everybody again. I'm Lucio Boyardi Servi from GT Plus Audio Italy, and uh, this was the GTX 10 system. Uh, just a couple of words uh, to clean our ears before going to listen for the GTX 12, which is a double 12 inch uh, three way line array. And uh, of course, uh, this environment. Uh, does not help too much with sound, so we are not playing very loud. So I invite you also to come here in the center to, to perceive the sound quality despite the reverberation of the, of the room. Here on the ground we have a, a card of GTX 10 and also a rack of FPS amplifier. You can come here to touch the system. So welcome everybody, of course, me, Andy McGee, Oscar Mora and Michael Lawrence will be here for give you more information if necessary. And also, if you want, we can also arrange some custom listening between the demo slots. Thank you again. Let's go with the GTX 12. Especially if I can have like an audio engineer in all my case. <laughs>
welcome to TT Plus Audio. You are listening to the GTX 12 Turing System. The GTX 12 is a passive dual 12 inch three way quad amp symmetric line array system for medium to large indoor and outdoor events. Offering remarkable power and extreme clarity in a small and quick to set up package. Up to 24 GTX 12 to modules can be mounted so on a single fly bar. The TT Plus Audio GTX 12 offers excellent playback quality and high SPL. Powered by our new XPS 16K 4x4000 4 watts RMS amplifier with four analog and digital AES inputs and buffered digital outputs, optional Dante network connectivity and full signal processing, tuning, impedance monitoring and routing capabilities, all at 96 kilohertz. The advanced electronic design of the XPS amplifiers is engineered to deliver ultra low distortion and high amplitude long time bursts for massive dynamic headroom. Our TTR 16K Turac provides a turnkey amplification package, including three XPS amplifiers, signal management panels with robust and durable connectors to ensure optimum reliability. For ease of use and quick setup, all GTX components use the same robust 8-pin PCOM connector. All transducers used in TT Plus audio systems are designed from the ground up specifically for their purpose. Listen to some music to experience the truly impressive sound quality of the GTX 12 in full range mode without subwoofers. Yo. The symmetrical design of the cabinet produces identical left and right coverage. The GTX 12's component positioning and special FIR DSP crossover filtering deliver transparent sound, absolute clarity, and perfect imaging to the listener. Our special fear phase processing algorithm distributes sound without phase distortion ensuring minimal latency in the system. In addition, our R&D team pushed the boundaries even further by developing the new base motion control algorithm, which further enhances the GTX's phase response by replacing traditional crossovers and improving the system's overall transient response with extended linearity and improved sonic integrity. Here is another audio sample in full range mode, again without subwoofers. Please, you come to when you leave the beat. 
EX systems can be set up with predefined customizable preset libraries. These libraries can be accessed via the XPS amplifier's oh, touchscreen without the need for a computer. Monitoring and That's control true. can also be achieved terrible. using a true oh, Ethernet terrible. connection no. and our flexible RDNet software. RDNet can be used to create preset libraries, set up and configure GTX Turex, monitor all connected devices, select signal routing, adjust for environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity, measure phase alignment with the included full feature FFT analyzer, Use the integrated Easy Shape Designer to make predictions and obtain details of a GTX system's weight, pick points, safety factors, etc. For complex three-dimensional predictions of the system, a new tool called Shape D3D will be available soon. Let us now listen to the whole system, starting with a sound check using real instruments and listening to their dynamics.
GTS-29 Passive High Performance Subwoofer. The GTS-29 is a dual 19-inch subwoofer module for low-frequency extension in demanding touring and installation applications, both indoors and outdoors. Equipped with two high-excursion transducers, it offers excellent reproduction quality and extreme sound pressure levels. The cabinet has front and rear PECOM connectors for easy use in a cardioid configuration. The GTS-29 subwoofers can be ground stacked or flown in setups of up to 16 modules. Listen to the next sample. The system is completed by our mid-size GTX-10 dual 10-inch two-way bi amp line array. All systems can be combined with our proven TT Plus point sources. The monitoring and control of hybrid so like systems consisting like of passive GTX like that, systems like combined with self-powered front fills, for example, underlines the flexibility of the concept. A single XPS 16K amplifier can drive four GTS 29 subwoofers and up to six GTX 10 or three GTX 12 line array modules using a single PCOM cable. Thank you for your attention. Please feel free to contact us for a tech talk. Visit our booth or browse our website at ttaudio.com. Well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we are here if you want to have uh, any questions, uh, any information about the system. Lucho, Andy, uh, Michael, and me are going to be there. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, I still have 12. Nice, big. 